You've been doing a lot of research. You're publishing your own forecast for the economy next year. Give us a sense of what it will all mean for households. Well, I think the truth is households are going to go into recession this year. What do I mean by that? I mean that consumption, spending that we all make uh, in the high streets and on discretionary goods, that is going to go negative already this year. And the only thing really stopping us from having a full-blown recession this year is that at the moment, business investment levels are quite high. The risk is if business investment starts to fall, then the whole country could go into recession sooner than some are predicting, i.e. next year. So I think that's why at the moment there's not a lot you can do about household spending when inflation is this high. But you do need to stabilise confidence amongst firms so that they don't you know, stop spending too. Did you get an, any idea or any sense of how households are changing their, their spending patterns already? Yeah, look, I think already you're seeing households are trading down. It's a well-known behaviour when there's high inflation, right? They're not buying as many discretionary goods or they're buying the cheaper option in the supermarkets. That's happening already, right? This idea that it's going to be next year where we face recessionary uh, risks, I think actually they're happening this year. It's why I've said this morning that actually, although political drama is incredibly good for television, it's pretty bad for economics. And so I think the government need to recognise uh, confidence building, economic confidence building rather than political confidence building, is actually the order of the day right now. You've actually called in an interview in the paper today for a, a COBRA meeting on the economy. I mean, that's the sort of meeting you have when there's a, a terrorist attack or the pandemic yeah. or a real national crisis. Is that the sort of crisis you really think we're facing? Well, look, I, I don't think we need to have a great national crisis to start behaving in the way the government behaved during the pandemic, right? The government really did exert grip. It got a team of external advisors. It had, you know, daily, weekly meetings in the COBRA room. It took very quick decisions. It got things moving. That's the kind of behaviour we need from government now, right? Business as usual, let's have a budget in November and let's keep having a debate amongst the Conservative Party about what's the right way to do taxes or how should we get harder on Brexit. That stuff doesn't help. We need to put the events of last week behind us and we need to have a Prime Minister and a Chancellor co-chairing meetings, bringing all of government together and making the big decisions quickly rather than waiting for budgets, making big decisions quickly that ensures that confidence stabilises and we avoid recession.